Hello, everybody. I'm Terry Barr, your host of this Pennywise podcast from Lee Enterprises. Okay, so today's topic, we are looking at what is the child tax credit plan for this year. And thank goodness we've got somebody to walk us through this whole plan. Kimberly Washington is a tax analyst with Forbes Advisor. And Kimberly, thanks so much for being here today. Thank you so much for having me again on the show. I really do appreciate it. Oh my gosh. We look forward to talking with you because when it comes to taxes, this is not the easiest topic to go through. And now we're talking about this child tax credit payment and it's set to start in July. But what is this? What is this payment? So this is, of course, the payment is something new, but the credit is not. The child tax credit has been around for many years. The amount has changed over the years. Just recently in 2020, the most of credit was was $2,000. Now with the new bill that President Biden has just passed, it expanded the credit and increased it to up to $3,600. It also increased the age limits. So now if you're 17 years of age, or if you have a child rather than 17, your child can now qualify or any children under 17, of course, and under. So that's a little bit about the child tax credit. Okay, so a little more money and a higher age limit. Is this gonna be something that we'll see for a long time or is this sort of a short-term help out kind of thing? Right now, as it stands of right now, it's short term. So right now, as it stands, the child tax credit expansion is only for the year 2021. The payments, which starts in July 15th, is only for 2021 as well. Now, there could be a chance that Congress says, hey, we may expand this credit or increase it past 2021. But as it stands right now, it's just for 2021. Okay. Well, I guess now the bigger question is, you've you've got some of those um, easy answers out of the way, but how is this actually going to work for everybody? So it's going to work for most families. You will not need to do anything to receive your child tax credit payment starting in July 15, of course, starting on July 15, rather. But for some, you will have to do certain actions. But let me just give you an idea. So if you already filed your 2019 or your 2020 tax return, You don't have to do anything. The IRS is going to get your information and send you your payment. If you are someone who's filed the non-follow to last year to get your stimulus payment, you don't have to do anything. The IRS is going to send you your payment. But if you're someone who does not fall within those categories, you have yet to file a tax return, maybe you are considered a non-follower, you do need to take action because the IRS needs your information in order to send your payment. Okay. Well, that's good to know. So anybody listening, um, take action if you haven't already and you want to get this uh, tax credit payment. Well, I guess then the next question really is who actually qualifies for this? Right. So it's going to be based on your income. If you are a single individual and your modified adjusted gross income, but most people that's just their income is less than $75,000, you'll qualify If you are someone who's married, that income threshold is $150,000, you'll be someone who qualifies. Now, keep in mind, if you earn a little bit more than that amount, the amount will be reduced. And so you do want to keep that in mind. And it actually is eliminated to really high top um, income earners. So do keep that in mind. But the biggest thing is that for your monthly payments, you will receive $300 per child ages six, under the age of six, rather, or you receive $250 for ages six to 17. That's a monthly payment. So it's really based on your income. And it's also based on the number of qualifying children that you might have. Okay. And then is this something that uh, people will see deposited automatically? Or is it a check that's coming in the mail that they should probably be watching for? It depends, of course, Uh, right? Of course. Of course. So if the IRS has your banking information, they're going to send a direct deposit into your bank account. If the IRS does not have your banking information, they will mail you a check. And so the IRS has also recently announced that if it does not have your banking information on file, you'll have time. You can use this portal that they're setting up right now. And you'll be able to enter your banking information. So you will have time still to update your banking information if you want to receive your money by direct deposit. 
Okay, you mentioned a portal. Is that some kind of information that we should share with people? Do you know what that portal is? So yes, it's called the Child Care Credit Tax Update Portal. And so this portal will allow you to update your contact information. Um, if your, your children actually change, let's say for instance, now you have maybe a new baby this year, you need to include their information into the portal. And also if you have changes to your banking information, that portal will allow you to do just that. But keep checking back with IRS because it is not live just yet, but it will be shortly. Oh, that's good to know. Okay, I'll ask you for that information again before we let you go, just in case people want to write it down or something. Yes. Um, you know, when we're talking about um, when somebody could receive it, it starts July 15th, you've mentioned. And then is it basically the 15th-ish of every month? For the rest it of the is. year. Okay. Yes, okay. it is the 15th of every month, with the exception of August, you'll receive it on the 13th. But every month around the 15th, you can expect this payment all the way through December. Now, keep in mind, since it's only six months, that means that you're receiving half year's worth of credit. So what you can do is when you file your tax return next year, you can actually claim the rest of the credit at that time. So you do want to keep that in mind that you're receiving a half year's worth of the child tax credit payments. Okay. And you know, people will listen to this and, and everybody always thinks, okay, there's got to be a catch. Is there a catch to any of this? Are there going to be taxes owed because you're getting this tax credit ahead of time? Not necessarily. I'll okay. just say in most cases, um, the IRS does have what's called a safe harbor meaning that if you earn less than a certain amount of income and you receive too much of the credit, mm. they're saying they're not going to do anything about it. But in most cases, it should be A-OK, -okay, um, the credit that you do want, you all receiving at this time. So you do want to keep that in mind. However, if you receive too much credit and your situation has changed a great deal, like your income has mm -hmm. increased a great deal from year to year, then you may want to talk to a tax professional and see how this will impact your tax situation. Okay, that's perfect. Yes. Um, and you too, you you sort of mentioned, you know, if you had any changes in your life, a new baby, um, anything like that, maybe uh, one of your kids is no longer under 17. Those are all things you can enter again at that portal that you mentioned, right? Right, so this portal will allow you to make any changes to your personal tax situation. And also, that's going to be an opportunity. Let's say, for instance, if you decide, hey, this sounds too tricky. I'd rather just receive my money next year when I file my taxes in one lump sum. You'll be able to opt out of the payment. So you don't necessarily have to receive these monthly payments. You can opt out and just receive your child tax credit once you file your 2021 taxes in 2022. Wow. Okay. Some options, which is always a good thing. Is yes. there anything else that we need to know about this, Kimberly? This is a moving target, right? <laughs> Things yeah. keep moving and IRS continues to update. So I will continue to go to irs.gov if you have questions. They have set up a special web page just to answer your questions. We too at Forbes Advisors provide a lot of information mm -hmm. to help you navigate through this process. We have a great tool, a calculator that you can use on our website where you can enter your information to determine what's your monthly child tax credit payment. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Kimberly Washington, tax analyst with Forbes Advisor. Thank you so much for just walking us. You're kind of holding our hands and walking us through this whole situation way before we have to worry about it in the middle of July. So thank you yes. so much for all you do and helping us understand what can be some complex issues. Thank you so much for having me. Oh my gosh. I'm Terry Barr. And again, this is your Pennywise podcast from Lee Enterprises. And as always, we invite you to listen every week, a new episode. Just find us wherever you enjoy listening to your podcasts. Thanks again, Kimberly. And goodbye, Thank everybody. You.